Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. And this is what I have for you today. This is a brand new to me. I never work on this vehicle. It's a 2005 Toyota Prius. It has approximately 154 800 miles on the clock and it came with a problem. The owner stated when he drives sometimes he's losing the power. So he said it started a couple months ago and it's slowly getting worse and worse. Also the famous triangle of death in the dashboard right that was there that was the red triangle check engine light vsc a brake warning lights all of them were on when i got this prius before i started scanning it right before i took it here i took it for the short test drive and i couldn't duplicate the complaint the vehicle was driving normally so I got a scanner out and I got these codes P0A80 which is hybrid battery pack over temperature. What that means basically says the hybrid battery is overheating. And the other codes told me where. It was P3015 battery block 5 week P3016 battery block six week these codes were multiple times there it was six codes right but they were double so this is what i got so far of course you are paying attention what you are hearing right so i look on the display in the vehicle right which is there when it was on and it was showing me that the hybrid battery is basically completely empty but what I was hearing, I said hearing, I was hearing that the entire time this vehicle has for that hybrid battery cooling fan, right? So the cooling fan was running all the time trying to prevent that overheating, right? But you see here that the vehicle was basically turned in some kind of dock kennel or something. Apparently the owners own two dogs. Now where is that cooling duct so if you look right here i know the seats down the seats are down but if you look down here this cannot be ever obstructed this is where the cooling fan and cooling system gets the air and it's not coming out here it's coming out actually next to that hybrid battery down there so unfortunately i need to put a gloves on and start digging into this area and now some of you might say hey waste of time right a battery is kaput you will say hey it just needs a new hybrid battery two areas are overheating it just lost its capacity you saw on the display it's completely empty right so that's kaput but before making the judgment i want to see that this cooling system it's actually working properly and it's not plugged by the dirt or here dog hair right so let's go and dig into it and let's make it clear from the beginning this is by no means how, how to video how to repair something and so on right I normally encourage you to do your maintenance and so on but in this case I will say opposite hybrid vehicles the system can kill you instantly so i will not encourage you to work on those right and leave it professionals even in a toyota dealer when i got my certification hybrid certification i was actually on certain procedures it was only two of us who were allowed to work on the hybrid systems little tip many times and not in this case but many times that triangle of death it's connected to bad 
AUX battery, which is right here, the small one, right? So, anytime you have these problems, always make sure, test it, that it's good, in, in good working order. Really quick look for you, to give you idea. Cooling fan is hiding behind this cover. This is the auxiliary battery, right, the small one. Look how you remove that main disconnecting plug, orange plug, right? You use your finger right here and pull up. After that, you just tilt it this way. And here we go. If you really insist, now you did the first main disconnect of this main butter which is hiding under this underneath this cover. Here we go. We can see it has original Toyota part, right? It's made by Panasonic. But that seems to be like an original battery. <laughs> At least this cover. You never know if it was switched underneath it. But yeah, so far looking at it, I will say it was never touched. I can't stand this mess, so I will continue using my vacuum and cleaning around here. I always try to provide my customers with the biggest bang for the buck. So while I will keep working on that, I remove that small auxiliary battery, right? I didn't know on which shape, which condition it is. And while I will be working, it will be being charged right here, right? Also removing that, always whoever is familiar with this second gen of Prius, right? You know what many times you find there. The battery was actually happily floating like in the aquarium. Let me show you, you don't see it, the water is clean. This is full of water, right? It was sitting, all these electronics, which are right here. This is all in this water evaporation, right? just because the drain which is on the bottom failed. Also, look, this is a treasure chest, basically. Unbelievable, right? So it's always good to look here. That's another hint for you. Many times this happens, it's full of water. And look, that battery was, was nowhere to fully charge. This is after five minutes and it shows the capacity, right? The charge was nowhere to full. And don't think this is overkill to making sure it's fully charged and, you know, wasting the time with it. These are really complex vehicles and if that small battery is dead, you will have a problems with the hybrid system too. I've got a mop ready because bucket will not fit there. Let's follow one of our leaders and drain the swamp. Huh? Can I do that? Oh yeah, look at that. Here that has a lot of water coming out of there. Now that gives us really good um, view of that vent, right? This is where the hybrid battery air, which is coming from there, right? It's being uh, brought out. You saw that pipe in the beginning, right? This all needs to be functional and needs to be airing, getting that hot air away from the hybrid battery. Here is another look on this area, right? After removing that panel, here you can see the cooling air coming into the battery, right? And then leaving through this duct up there as we discussed. And I don't think I even need to continue this video. I think I don't need to speak. I think you will see my point right here. How do you think this cooling fan can be efficient, huh? That's exactly what I expected here. So I have removed it here next to the battery. This is still being charged. So this is great. 
and look at it on the bench right this is perfect to show how it looks before cleaning and how it will be after cleaning right I would like to show you another detail if you try to look on those fins inside there they are basically plucked they lost the ability to move the air right or it's the ability it's really compromised maybe not hundred percent but you 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 understand what I mean right so this can be running all the time but it's not moving that cooling air to the hybrid battery correctly maybe just maybe we saved to this owner that ginormous cost of replacing this hybrid battery or at least we postpone it for the later we will see I tried the vacuum to get the dirt out but it was nothing this compressed air that was a cure for it and let me present you the improvement look at it perfectly spins around again there is that miniature residue right but all that heavy dirt it's all gone it basically flew out Oof, it was like a one big blow of the dust and it's gone so this is ready for install and I know there were many cases in past right when the owners got triangle of death and these coats and the service station said just bang battery out and get a new one but you have to pay attention to the details right this was clearly about the high temperature overheating right and the cooling fan was completely plugged so if you have these clothes don't panic immediately that you will be losing four grand or so right start with the basics make sure these ducts are not plugged by the dirt and the whole system is cooling that hybrid battery correctly I will go back to it and put it together and we can cross finger for the owners that that will save them for a while for you thank you for watching and be subscribed i always will film a lot of stuff for you here in my garage for this channel thanks for watching and have a great day my friend